Hello friends. I'm S. Van Dyer. Today, I want to do a different experiment. I haven't done this experiment before, and I want to perform it on camera so we can see the results together. These are lithium-containing minerals, which I've explained about before. Lithium is one of the important elements in industry and energy. Lithium isn't found in its metallic form but it exists in its alkaline form in most mines, with the most important lithium mineral being spodumen. There are several ways to extract lithium, and in this video, I intend to test one of those methods. I also plan to work more professionally in future videos. Please note that this experiment is not for making a professional battery. In this video, I just want to demonstrate lithium extraction and build a simple and basic battery, so don't expect too much. These two minerals have a good percentage of lithium, and I'm choosing this one for the test. I have already powdered some of this rock. Friends, before continuing the experiment, let me introduce a great book that contains valuable information about precious metal extraction. If you're interested in mining and extracting precious metals, you can purchase it for $50 right below this video. I've provided the details of the book in the video description. For those who want to learn easily without spending thousands of dollars on training courses, this book is the best option, and I highly recommend you buy and study it. Even students can benefit from this book. Additionally, it's supported by my Telegram channel and group, and I also provide videos on my YouTube channel. For the experiment, I need a small amount of sodium hydroxide. It shouldn't be too much because it may cause the lithium to precipitate as impure white crystals, ruining the results. Sodium hydroxide is harmful to breathe in and can be damaging to the skin and eyes, so be cautious. After that, I will use distilled water. Keep in mind that there are other methods to extract lithium as well. For example, dissolving the mineral in sulfuric acid. Or if you've obtained lithium from brine, you can easily convert it to lithium carbonate using sodium carbonate and then build your battery. To convert lithium into metallic lithium, electrolysis is used in the sulfuric acid process. Lithium is transformed into its metallic form, Although it's not very easy since storing metallic lithium is challenging, it needs to be kept under oil. Friends, if you look closely at the solution, you'll see the iron has darkened. It takes several hours for lithium salts to fully dissolve in the sodium hydroxide solution, so I'll set it aside for now. If you intend to extract and store lithium as lithium carbonate, after filtering the lithium hydroxide solution, Dissolve a small amount of sodium carbonate in hot distilled water and filter it. Then, add it to the lithium hydroxide solution. After a few days, white lithium carbonate particles will precipitate in the beaker and will be ready for battery production. After filtering, I divide the solution into parts and use carbon to prepare the raw material for battery production. The lithium is currently in the solution, and I won't convert it into lithium carbonate since I don't intend to store it. Therefore, by adding carbon to the lithium hydroxide, I will begin the battery making process. Friends, in the future, I plan to use lithium to create rechargeable solar powered sources. What I mean is to build light-sensitive cells developed with lithium, allowing them to perform at the best efficiency. This is even more important than gold extraction. Some of you mentioned in the comments that the digital sound quality isn't good. I apologize for that and will try to improve the quality. Currently, my equipment is not sufficient, 
which is why it takes a bit longer to make these videos. Stir the solution well so the carbon dissolves properly. For the next steps, I'll need some aluminum foil, a bit of aluminum polymetal, and some copper plates. Aluminum polymetals are not conductive, but aluminum foil is electrically conductive. Aluminum polymetals are widely used in industry and have good resistance to chemicals. In this project, I will use it as the battery casing. To keep the video from being too long, I will speed it up so you don't get bored. Friends, the construction process is complete. I didn't do any calculations to determine the voltage and current, and as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I wasn't aiming to create an ideal lithium battery. In this project, my goal was simply to extract lithium from its mineral and experimentally build a basic battery. However, future videos will be more professional. Now, I need to determine the polarity, so I'll apply a temporary voltage to both battery terminals. Then, I'll measure the voltage. If the negative sign appears on the multimeter, it shows which terminal is positive, and I'll mark it. This method of charging is not suitable for lithium batteries. Typically, lithium batteries use charge control circuits.
I charged the battery for 20 minutes, and the charging was completed. Now I need to measure the final voltage of the battery. The voltage of this battery is half a volt. To have a 3 volt battery, I would need to connect 6 of these batteries in parallel. Alternatively, I could increase the number of internal layers in the next battery I make to achieve higher voltages. Although this experiment was simple, it's a start for larger projects. I will create more videos about lithium and everything you need to know and will present better projects, so please be patient. I highly recommend the mining tutorial book, and I've provided the details of the book in the video description. Thank you very much for liking and supporting my work, and I wish you great success.